Previously, we've covered advanced WSL2 configuration using a .WSL config file that resides under the user's profile. WSL 2.3, however, brings a new WSL settings GUI application that addresses the challenges of creating and maintaining a .WSL config file. The WSL GUI settings application provides labeled categories to help customize and manage available settings, and it coexists with an existing .WSL file respecting its settings. Additionally, there is a new Dev Home application that caters to developers, but is still useful for elite prosumers. First, ensure you have WSL 2.3 installed. Open an administrative terminal and type WSL dash dash version. If you have Windows 11 23H2 and see this screen with the help items, WSL is not installed. Type WSL dash dash install to install. If you have Windows 11 24H2 and don't have WSL installed, it will prompt you to install it automatically. If you have WSL installed, but the version is less than 2.3, type WSL dash dash update to download and install the latest version. When WSL dash dash version reflects 2.3, you have the latest release along with the WSL settings GUI application. Click start all WSL settings. Here, you will find all the settings you would typically set using the .wsl config file. Since these settings are user-based, administrative or elevated rights are not required. Under memory and processor, you can set the number of available processing cores, assign memory, and specify swap file and its location. Under file system, you can change the default max size of the virtual disk file. Networking, Networking mode provides a drop down to select between NAT, mirrored, and Virtio proxy, along with other essential network settings. Optional features allows toggling and enabling of GUI Linux applications and nested virtualization, among other settings. And for developers, the developer heading allows the toggling of debug mode and the selection of custom kernels. And in the lower left corner, you can launch your default WSL distribution. The settings set and the WSL settings GUI apply to all installed distributions. Click Start, type Dev, and select Dev Home. The home screen presents a dashboard with basic information such as CPU, GPU, and network. Click Add Widget and select Memory and click Pen. Under Machine Configuration, Quick Steps, you can create a new Hyper-V or WSL environment, clone or create new code repositories, install popular development tools and editors, and create a dev drive, which is a mounted virtual disk file. The environments heading is where you can see your WSL, Hyper-V, and Windows Sandbox virtual environments. Under Windows Customization, File Explorer, you can adjust settings for a developer-friendly environment. Most of these settings are also under File Explorer's Folder Options dialog. Under Virtualization Feature Management, you can enable or disable virtualization features. And under General System, you can enable Long Paths, recommended, or easily end tasks forcefully from the taskbar. And the Utilities heading allows for easy editing of the local host file,
viewing a registry.reg files and the editing of user and system environment variables. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.